Jules Andrew, and welcome to Shadow Star, to this Star Trek Online legendary Starship visual review of the magnificent, the majestic, the mighty Scimitar. I don't get hyped for this ship because of its power in game. I get hyped for this ship because it's the scimitar. There's just no ship quite this magnificent. So for this visual review we'll take four steps required. We'll have a look at the customization options. Take a look at the unique bridge. Because hey, the scimitar got a little bit of love, unlike the rest of the Romulans. And then we'll take a look with demo record at her finer detailing and beautifully updated textures that Cryptic have given to her. Mind you, I've got a little bit of a spoiler to throw into that. So this should be fun. Credit to, well, we'll see shortly. Finally, we'll take a look at the Vanity Shield options for the ship. Hi Prometheus. Yeah, I wouldn't stand up to a scimitar either if I were you. <laughs> Without further ado, and in the gracious glory of the Empire, the Roman and Star Empire, and I guess the Republic. Shall we begin? Isn't she a lovely, lovely looking ship? The Tier 5 Scimitar. I mean, they did give us some lovely Republic updates. The Kopesh, the Flambard, the Samshir. And they do feel very fitting for what they're taking the place of. I will give them that credit. But nothing quite compares to the scimitar. And they're updated textures. I mean, let's let's be really honest. This is the tier 5 scimitar. To go along with the Tailwar and the Falcon. See what's going on in. Get they had the Romulan Green. They were doing that with the Romulans. So the uh, original scimitar also had the green, even though more screen accurate, way more beautiful. But you know what the funny joke is? That's not the original scimitar that we had. I never even got to see. I wasn't playing Star Trek Online at the time it came about. I mean, what? Xanos, you are a legendary dude. You got some beautiful shots and you've got some great ones out of this one too. Good damn. That being said, to think that that goes to that goes to this beauty, I'm over the moon. Now I would review the aesthetic looks of the counterpart Tawa and Falcon. And right here I will say a few little things that I like about them, since this is part of the customization, but very important to the scimitar herself. So, along with these, the main body of the Falcon compared to the scimitar, you see it gets more of these little, what looks like escape pod grills, I'm not sure what they were supposed to be, but they are quite nice. And I do like that ahead of them, you have these support struts giving more body to the ship and that deflector is so sweet especially since it's got a secondary deflector above it secondary secondly to say the in the cells up and below look a lot nicer and a lot more enhanced you get me but i'm not quite as big a fan as the tail end of the ship no escape pod seen underneath oh well I guess that's just the um, 
scimitar, but then maybe these are escape pods along the side here. It's also nice to see that the bridge of the Falcon is actually more screen accurate than the scimitars is. If you don't know what I mean, watch the show. Go and watch it. Although the front of this is fine, sorry, the um, front of this isn't, that middle section and to the upper section of the um, Falcon is actually more accurate than this little triangle that we have on the scimitar. Yes, I want to watch Nemesis for this review. Whoops. We also can say that these weapon nodes, I just want to say, are much nicer looking. They actually look like weapon nodes. They look powerful, they look effective. And I like how they're spined out across the ship. Falcon gets the best look out of my, in my opinion, is the best looking of them. Just in my opinion, though. Simitar, you are still very graciously beautiful. Then we have the Tawa. Now the Tawa I'm not really as big a fan of, mostly for distinctive reasons. I like the fact that it seems to have these torpedo tubes or some probably heavy plasma torpedo launchers lined up along the side of the front of the ship. The weapon nodes look far more versatile again, even with the void space in them. Just going to point out again, void space is back. These also are much more similar to the scimitar style. You know, the scimitar style has these weapon nodes, but they don't seem to have energy emitters on them, so I feel like that is a better upgrade. They look they look more active or versatile. My only problem with it is... Hang on. The Tawa has more of a... The Tawa's middle section is more screen accurate than the scimitar is. Sorry, than the Falcon is even, because it doesn't have the glowing at the front. That's just crazy. Take elements of each one and you can create the true screen accurate. And I kind of hope they will do that eventually to make a true screen accurate one. That being said, look underneath here near the, near the cells and you've got even more weapon points. This one is armed to the teeth and is absolutely covered though with what I don't like. Random void space. And the void space doesn't make too much sense. Like on the nacelles, I mean, admittedly, I do actually kind of like the nacelles, so... The void space in the cells, probably that's a bit silly of me saying I don't like it, and I secretly do. And the X shape on the facades, also quite fond of. I think it's just really the wings, the main body, and just on the weapon nodes, I just don't think it looks as so good. However, when we get into the scimitar, you're going to find that nothing beats, in my opinion, the scimitar. They can try. They're not going to achieve it, and I've already done a visual review on them, so bite me. <laughs> okay. I forgot to mention, as this is the legendary ship, we have got the adapted body. Now, I've already visual reviewed this, so I'm not going to say anything too much on this, other than I am fond of the main body of it. What really works well though with this ship is the fact that you can functionally customize the hull, the top of the cells, the bottom of the cells, the weapons, the top sensors, and the bottom sensors, the things I'm calling weapon nodes. And it means that those little things that I was griping at, you kind of fix them in my, on your perfect style of the ship. Like I I'm a particular fan of having weapon nodes below, but in this top the top sensors. I tend to swap them out for, I think it was the, it was the flambard ones I have. I had to swap them in on it. They don't look like as much as weapon sensors, but I just feel like that is a bit more subtle when I come to like the subtle. It's just me. Everyone has their own taste. But like I said, nothing beats the actual scimitar. Unless you want to play this game. Upgrade. An interesting look considering the way those panels end up, isn't it? How about... Talwar. Tarvo. Really don't like that on this ship, let's be honest. We've already seen Scimitar and Scimitar Beta, but Veteran looks very nice on this ship. And brings the ship to a different kind of feel. I definitely still get the, um, I do get more of a Federation feel out of the Scimitar on this one. Type 4 is a friendly look. Type 3 it's kind of cool, but I'm very confused with the random silver plates. 
You have your Type 2 Brown and your Type 2. Neither of them really suit this ship, in my opinion. Type 1. Okay. Riemann Type 2. Riemann Type 1. That concerns me for something later. Well, not on the air. Which actually looks alright in this ship, strangely. Even though I am worrying about the side panels. Falcon. And here's some fun. Enhanced Romulan. Augmented Romulan. And finally, Adapted Romulan. The Legendaries variant. They're pretty cool looking, but if I'm honest, if I'm totally honest, none entirely sure what's going on with the heavy siding. Nothing really does beat you, does it, Scimitar? You're just already perfect. Let's get into this. And I might eat my words when we get a good close look at it. Now, what did I say? Oh, yes. Bridge. Number one. Saying hi to him again. That is a terrible view screen. But at the same time, please remember that this this bridge came to us when the Tier 5 Scimitar was released. Now, when are we talking? We're talking before the Delta expansion. The Solonet Dyson Sphere. The Romulan or the Legacy of Romulus expansion. And we're talking before... Well... We're talking before the Scimitar was a Romulan ship in the game. You see, the Scimitar was given to the Federations and the Klingons, if I recall right. I, must, I would have felt really bad for everyone when the Scimitar came along and became a Romulan only if they were just planning a bite and the Federation character just as the Legacy of Romulus comes out and suddenly Scimitar's locked away. It's like, <gasps> no! You did? But it's a nice enough bridge. I said a lot about it in the um, adapted review, so I'm going to be a bit tamer here. I will say this though. Of all the aging bridges, this is perhaps one of my favourites. And I really wish Cryptic would give us some new bridges. Because the bridges are aging badly at this point, and it's about time we got some updates. We'll pay for it, Cryptic, you know we will. There's enough of us asking for these bridges. But oh well. I digress. Demo record time. Hmm. She kind of looks like a pistol. Doesn't she? Or oh, a really twisted torture device. The Romulan drone ship is the Scimitar's hangar pet and has been for a while. She's a cute little thing. Um, also seen in Star Trek Enterprise. Not entirely sure why such an old vessel is being used by such a powerful vessel, but then again, this thing is powerful as hell. So perhaps that's why. <sighs> there is way too much to talk about in the Scimitar. But you know what I really want to talk about? The fact that for some reason there's this Federation Chimera class and... Nog! Nog, is that you? Oh no, it's a Manticore. Nah. It's not Nog's shit. Nog commands a Chimera class. We know this, right? Okay. Scimitar, erase it. This is what it deserves. Farewell. Mine. <laughs> oh. Oh, come on. You didn't see, you didn't see this coming. It's like, if, if you have a Federation ship and a Romulan scimitar, this is the outcome. Well, I say Romulan scimitar. The Riemann scimitar, it's technically Riemann, but oh, you know what I'm talking about. 
It is a terrifying look. And it tells me that if the Remans... If the Remans were to actually have expanded their power quick enough to fight against the Romulans... We'd have been fighting the Reman Star Empire, and the Romulans would have been slaves to them. Rather than the other way around. This is a terrifying looking ship. I've got to say, I am a massive fan. Just look at the detailing in each of those winglets. It's beautiful, and all the pieces move together nicely uniformly they don't hover in the air for no apparent reason it is so well done so well done damn it scimitar to pick up on things that I don't like about this ship is difficult Especially now that they've updated her and given her her proper visual aesthetic look. I am absolutely in awe of this ship. First of all, it's deflector I love because there's no crazed glow or anything like that. It's very industrialized. It's functional. You can see its elements and you can see how it functions, works. The actual fact that it's using one powerful deflector emitter with two secondary reinforcers either side, there might be buffers or what, whatever term you want to use for them. And it gives a sense of life to it. It even looks like it's stoning you kind of, but it gives that sense of energy and life to the deflector that's greatly missing in a lot of deflectors. I mean, I'll use the Manticore as an example. Because of the heavy glowing blue, you don't really see the elements that are functioning, minus those what looks like must be fins within the deflector. But we know it's a dish, so they're not fins, so what is it? That deflector looks far more powerful to me. And the fact is, the size of the nose of the ship is another big thing to point out. It's taken up practically the entire area. I love the X marking on top of the ship and how that follows back. And as much as I said I like the way the assimilated bridge was done, nothing beats this bridge. The fact that you can see it standing true and up, almost, almost pyramid style as you go up towards the back and you've got that little glow and then there's the bridge. The bridge is in that high rise peak of the ship, I stand above the rest and I am defended. Unlike the Sovereign Bridge that got a hole blown into it. I went there. <laughs> this is just saying something to me. And there's just the structure that goes back. You can see there's more full point of the scimitar than just here's the bridge. Move back. They've got a clear area where they could do conferencing or discussions and considering what the scimitar was meant for. Yeah, I can kind of see that. Further towards the back, and you've got what? I'm gonna call it Reman Meditation Zone. Probably a large room in there. It's a love. I love the fact it goes into a dome at the back, though. It's the odd bit out about the ship. The back is spher spherical in design. Instead of being like the rest of the ship, which is hard, flat surfaces and angles maneuvering about. And they're just. You'd think it wouldn't fit with the rest of the ship because it's so different from it. But somehow it works. And having the spikes to it, that you can see become part of the adapted ship, it worked too. It's almost like it's banged. And from that we have the nacelles. Now the nacelles are actually my favourite part of this ship's design. You have this beautiful nacelle structure, which has a very boxy look to it, with an interesting facade design, obviously armoured and protected. Moving towards the back, you can see some of the walk coils, they don't have an alignment to sight, but you know what they're doing. And as you go back still, you get 
what well, looks like some kind of thrust output. Um, considering there's no impulse array anywhere else to be seen on the ship. Yeah, that probably is the impulse array for the ship, built in tuning the cells. And this little shroud that they place on top of the cells, or below the cells in the case of the bottom ones, really brings the rest of the cell together, gives it some life. And, big point to make, they're designed with a curved edge on the underside. So much like the back of the ship has a bit of a sphere to it, so does the back of the cells. It just adds to the feeling and allows it to make a bit more sense. Now, from there, let's come into this bit, the bit that really has my attention. Now, I'm not sure what these pods are meant to be. I always want them as probably escape pods, but they... They... May have another function, because if you look, they're right next to some kind of energy coil. A very high output energy area. Could be part of the cloaking system, and what enables it to fire when cloaked. This could be that special secondary cloaking that keeps the ship shrouded temporarily while it's firing. Maybe that's why when you shoot the rear of the ship, you can knock out some of the cloaking while the rest of the cloaking is still online. That was different. Maybe this is half the reason why, because it's using these special cloak emitters. Could be what they are. I'm going to go with that, actually. What do you think they are? I do love the fact that they've also got the docking hatch right here, just ahead of it, which is in basically the best position it could be in. You can imagine it having to extend quite a long docking bridge for it because of the size of the wings but at the same time positioning wise I've got no problem with that something I have a problem with that is this main part of the hull underneath the wings you've got this what is a weapons node it is a weapons point right there in front of it but um there's windows in it too and I'm wondering what those windows are doing because if this I always thought this was supposed to be like part of the main Thalon weapon. And if this is that size and is actually a, the weapon itself, then isn't anyone inside this weapon going to be vaporized when it fires? Having said that, the rest of the wings act as the Thalon array as well. Maybe I'm just thinking too much into this bit. Maybe this is just a plasma weapon emitter point along with the other weapon emitters that you can see around the ship. And the Phalon, it just happens to be integrated into the Phalon array. That's also an option. Now, away from that, I want to talk about the weapons themselves. Now, I did chip them for not having glowing elements to them. But when you see them in this view, with the high detail, you can really see they are weapons, but they are weapons to another level. So for example, this sensor node, as they're putting it, has clearly got a strip running the outer edge of it. So to me, it's a beam strip running around the outer edge of it, which would give it a huge firing arc. But then you go down to the ones below, and that's one, two, three emitter, one, two emitter, two emitters, three emitters, on the forward nose peak of the ship, you got another two emitters. I'm not sure, but I think there are another two emitters just underneath the deflector. And underneath, two quantum torpedo launchers. I say quantums because when I when, one of the things I looked for for doing the YouTube member screenshots that they can download, I wanted to give this ship a more accurate feel, so I was trying to get weapons in the right color range for this ship. Yeah, he has yellowy orange main disruptors that it fires. And it also fires blue weapons at this well. They look like pulses. So I'm gonna say the blue was quantum torpedoes. And then the yellow weapons are its main weapons the way that it fires. Plasma bolts. Whatever you wanna call them.
You're a very impressive ship, but you're very awkward to get right in the game. You know that? Very awkward. So much to think about on the ship, so much to say. The best thing I can say right now, to wrap up this part of the video, the thing that I'm really happy that they pulled off was the texture update. The texture... The textures that we originally had were not screen accurate. They were not nice. They were very two-dimensional. Very flat, very dull. Now you can see some... The texture is still kind of two-dimensional, but they've been done in such a way that you sort of have a sense of 3D plating to the ship and... The new lighting, the new glow, all of it, right down to the scale of the wings. It's beautiful. Could not be happier. I've just noticed down there. Look which one that one is. Yeah. Should have figured you'd be down here, you little bugger. You wanna pick a fight with me? Go on! We'll do it in one. Oh, come here or we'll lose. Okay, with this set, Vanity Shield time. Well, we're having a little bit of fun here, but appearing to be um, getting thrown around by different Herald ships. What the hell? Why the Herald's here with us? Can we go away now? Well, we're back, but the Heralds don't seem to like us very much. Damn it, Iconians. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Only ours. Right, let's do this then. Vanity Shield for the Vanity Shields. Let's go, Alliance. Whoa, the... Excuse my slipping. And also, what? the hell is this supposed to be? Oh, is this a sign of things to come? That is gross. No. By all. Ah, much better. Actually, the side of the ship looks terrifying. Yeah, I feel like when they updated the textures for this ship, they may or may not have forgotten to make sure that the new ones looked alright too. What the hell is all this random blue? It's the pets, isn't it? The pets are being naughty. How about the bald vanity shield? Get in line with the cooperative. I am really not a fan of any of these aesthetic looks. I feel like the Scimitar's counterparts, the Talwar and the Falcon, may be much better looking at this in this part. Uh, just gonna go there with that one. Just gonna go there. Okay! Discovery refit vanity shield. Come on, you should you should be alright on this ship. I mean it looks kind of okay. Again, it's heavy heavy dark implemented areas and then lighter areas. Um I knew they were called in the purple grey. Oh, damn it, pets! Slow down, or go away. Why are you hovering right next to the ship? Yeah, Discovery, not so great. Mind you, give me a bit of nice lighting. Okay, you can hover around the ship. You, you make some of the bits light up better. Discovery Vanity Shield. Okay, now you're just in the way. Go away. Mm. 
I like the Discovery Vanity Shield actually looks really good on the ship. Even if it messes up the torpedo launcher. Interesting that those uh, elements there get given a blue honeycomb pattern on them. Well, I'm not going to complain too much. It looks good. I actually approve. Finally, one that makes me go, yeah, you look good. Emperor's Bounty Shield. Looks very good. Oh, I kind of like the contrast of the yellow and the, sorry, the orange and the blue. It's intimidating in its feel. I like this one. And the shimmer to the hull is a little bit extra. The Bayou didn't look that great on it. This one. Yeah. This one I like. This one I like. Fakiri. I mean, after some aging process, it makes a little bit of sense, but the heavy red on the sides? No. Looks terrible. Why do I get the heavy impression that I should have used one of the other bodies as the main body just to get it a little bit better? I'm in regret right now, mind you. I like the. Should just use the Falcon body, that is. Right! Ferengi! I could never ever see this happening. I mean, I make a joke about it in the adapted, but can you imagine the Ferengi actually taking control of a scimitar? Welcome to your depository. We're going to take it all now. Bye! Mine! Looks okay. Perk Vanity Shield. Ooh. This may look okay. Or it may look absolutely stupid because of the side paneling. I mean, that actually had the potential look really good. I am very suspicious, though, that if we were looking at the other two, this would look better. So I might actually end up doing Vanity Shield visual review of the other two. Just to... Fix, if you get me. This one a little bit extra. Kelvin Divergence. If you ever want to insult the scimitar, this is how you do it. Yep, this is an insult to the scimitar. I mean, if you ever want to give a Star Wars feel to the <laughs> I'm really mean to Star Wars at times, but hey, oh. I actually love Star Wars. I do not like the fact that those have got the facade colouring. I've just discovered there is actually a second texture for the Kelvin. And it's a dark grey. I say second texture because the rest of it is silly white. Uh oh, medical vanity shield. Yeah, let this... If they still had self-destruct in the game right now, I'd actually hit the self-destruct. I'd blow this booger up. This is an insult to the scimitar. Get it off screen. Now. <laughs> right now. Platinum. What the fuck? I take it back. Yeah, much better. Yeah? Much better. Um, okay, I lie, I jest, I joke. This one, it looks okay, I just don't like just how heavy the red on the side of the ship is. Likewise, the platinum, it looks okay, but I don't like how heavily 
how blacked out the main body is. But at the same time, it kind of works better because you're doing black on the main body and silver into the wings. There's a few elements of black in there. That's not it. That's it. Let's see what it actually looks like when your wings open up. Do you know what? That actually looks pretty. That looks pretty blazed. Epic! That looks blazingly good. Next up, section 31. I mean, it's about what I expected. I actually like the over the fact that it's very heavy on the rib sorry, the ribbed texture. I think that gives the ship a little bit more for life. If the series turned around to me and told me this like it never been shown in Star Trek before, it was just being introduced right now came out like this and you went, yeah, this is Section 31 shit. I would have been willing to believe it just on the fact that I could see Section 31 as being the type to go, so woman is a really powerful and this is the kind of aesthetic they use. Maybe we can utilize this for a unique ship of our own. Yes. Let's make our own ship based on this and there'd just be a few alterations. Then the cells would be on the tips of the wings or something like that. Or then the cells would actually be under here with that weapon by on this. Do, 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 do. Zenkefi. Now this has turned out to be quite the um, looker as well, hasn't it? Hey, you wanna pick a fight me? Come on then. Come on then. Fight me! I am the Zenkefi scimitar. You can't win. I've just noticed that has a very purple shimmer to the front of it. Blue and purplish. I mean. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Could be cooler, but it is pretty cool. How about... Now, this isn't allowed to look bad. Jat Vash. Yeah, I never did like the idea of the Jat Vash. Yeah, let's have a secret, secret police. The Tal Shah was the secret police. You don't need another secret, secret organisation. I've got the Tal Shah mind you. Did, but this is the Romulans. They have secrets within their secrets within their secrets. These, the, at least the um, Kardashians keep it to just the obsidian order. With that being said, oh, this looks nice. This is my favourite looking one so far. By a long way, this is my favourite looking. I'm sorry, previous winner. Assimilation time. I mean, okay. It kind of amuses me, it didn't change the um, grills back to green. E. Simulate. Okay, the deflector. That's mean. looking for, well the impulse attachment is exactly in the same place as the previous, oh there it is, it's attached interestingly to the cell, it's attached in the way that you'd expect it to be attached but if the covering wasn't there, so it's both brilliantly placed and completely incorrectly placed, mm. yeah okay. We'll give it a pass just because it gets the pass. Mess. Right. Don't mind me. Long buttons, long time. Next in the gravy. Bajoran. Covariant. But. How about no? Yeah, freaky Romulan. Bust you would. A... 
I went the completely wrong spot then. Counter command covariant. Ooh. Now would the would there be nowhere for the green glowing elements to be wrong on this ship? This is looking pretty epic. I mean, I could live with this. A very imposing look. Fail on weapons, gonna fire, gonna steal you off. I've just noticed all this. Where were they? Fail on the points that you appear from. They only lined up with the adapted versions of the fail on weapon. Which is interesting to note. Okay. Okay. Delta Alliance Unimatrix. I mean, that looks pretty cool. Torpedo tubes are looking a little bit eyeball-y, but... It's a good look. Oh, except for that green glow element there. Wait, did I get confused between two of them? Oh, I don't care. I did get confused, didn't I? Yeah, this is the one with the bad green glowing elements, and it's dreadful! It's ruining it, how is that possible? You shouldn't be able to do that. Dyson Regenta Shield Array. Okay, I'm not actually sure how this is going to look. Similar to the Platinum, then. <laughs> Just without as good of textures. From one perspective, it looks really good, but from another, it's dreadful. Not a fan of it. Iconian. Do, 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 do. Don't you like to see the Iconians doing their little thing? I think this looks like... Well... Looks like I was kind of expecting, to be honest. Rubbish. Never have liked the Iconian ones, really. <laughs> and I call the green ones the trash bin. No, the reason I don't call the Iconian ones trash bin is because they at least have decent texturing, even if the texturing doesn't look good. Now, Lucari Restoration. Hmm, and we've got some sunglasses. Wow, that's bright. I do not like. Especially the front there. I do not like that. Yeah, this is Tron gone wrong. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. Get the power range to destroy it. No, there's no recovering factor on that one for me. Mako. Oh, this is just as terrible. Why, 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 why is that? Why use the mesh pattern on the side like that? It looks terrible. I know each pattern is gridded to something, so you have your grid one type, or your pattern one, your pattern two, and your pattern three, and they've each got the formula there is to be in. Whoever overdid the pattern on the sides of the ship, you're an ass. You ruined the Mako for it. Actually, we're in the field before it. Nakua. Didn't... Oh, but... If the pattern on the wings was on the main body on the top here, and it was just the sides, I would have said this looks great. And I normally love Nakua, but... No, not this time around. This is... This 
has not turned out nicely for the ship at all. And all you need to do is to save it is use the wing pattern or side of the hole pattern on the very top piece. That's all you need to do. Yeah, you don't even need to do it underneath, just on the top. Would have been fine. Nope. Prevailing. Some things never change. Well, the wings look good. Can we say that? The wings look good? Uh... Yeah, not really keen and in the slightest on that one. You're not allowed to be bad. Romulan Advanced Prototype. It's bad. It looks really, really bad. No, thank you. Probably would have looked better if I used a different hull aesthetic for the main body, but this just looks horrible to me. Temporal. Ooh, having that, yeah, having the lever on the sides. No, thank you. That's. The oil, the oil patterns on the edges of the wings are a little bit too much for me, too. Especially on the underside there. Not in the sight. I'm, I'm getting off this one. Ugh. No, thank you. Terran. Here we go. Terran Task Force. Oh, I knew the Terrans could save it. Oh, I knew the Terrans would look good. Oh, I am a fan. The wings look absolutely terrifyingly amazing. So did the nacelles and the main peak of the body. Kind of not too happy on the blue glow at the back of the ship be ignored. We're looking at a very nice looking Terran ship here. <sighs> Dielectric, green, trash bin, insult to the scimitar, holy. It's ugly. There's a proper insult to Scimitar, isn't it? That should never be on the ship. Gem Hadar. Resilience. What the hell? Okay, all the main body is purple with grey wings. I mean, that's kind of cool. Everything is nicer with purple. But that might be a bit too much purple. Oh, who am I kidding? That looks awesome. Kind of my favourite look so far. Um, not... Absolute favourite, but one of my favourites, should I say. Yeah, one of my favourites. Top three. In the top three. It should... Well... Should be having fun with this one. Riemann Advanced Prototype. Scimitar was designed by the Riemanns. This... Must never... Ever foul on the scimitar. Not allowed. Cannot happen. This may be a love it or hate it shield, but this is the one time it must be a love, no matter who you are. Um, can we bring back the image we you um, Zalos provided? Because I'm pretty sure that's following the same texturing on the nose there. Zalos, calling on you a second. Zalos! Zalos! It bloody is it all, isn't it? Oi, 
No. And those pans on the sides? No. No. Wrong. That was just wrong. I cannot, I will not condone that look. The poor scimitar. You're such a beautiful ship, how could they insult you in this way? I'm so sorry. I beg your forgiveness. You know what? I'm still a fan. <laughs> I'm still a fan of it. I'm still a fan of this aesthetic. Oh, do me. Yeah, this this one this one's my favourite aesthetic for the ship. So how about you guys? Which one was your favourite aesthetic? What's the points that you like or dislike on the ship? You know, if I was going to rank that recreation of it, I'm going to say they're at least 99% screen accurate now. We've just slight things out of place. Just the teeniest things. And I am, I'm not going to complain at that. So my score for the ship is 9.5 out of 10 for its visual look and its adaption. She's a beautiful ship. She has been in this game a long time and she's had a lot of updates and they... She went from looking meh to good to yes. And I appreciate that part. With that being kept in mind, I don't think I'm really going to customise it all that much. I think I'm going to be flying primarily a scimitar. So that's going to be something. What about you guys? What will you be flying? No, seriously, I want to hear in the comment section from you guys what you think of this ship. What, if you're go, what kind of version are you flying? What's your preferred look? Do you have a preferred shield or a hull? And I would love to know what ship you want me, outside of the legendaries, to review next, both stats and visual. Can I just say at this point a massive thank you to what, for watching to the very end of this video. It does mean a lot to me that you have taken the time out of your day to do so. Also, I want to say a massive thank you to this channel's past patrons, YouTube members, Twitch subscribers, and donators for helping to make this video, among others, possible. Without your sincere generosity, it wouldn't, this wouldn't be here right now. So. It really is down to them, guys. <sighs> and if you wish to join them, the links to do so are in the description. It's worth taking a look at. Donation is a one-time thing. And if you do that, be sure to let me know in the comment box that you're given why you've chosen to do so, so I know why I'm thanking you. And also, if you become a member, well, welcome to that half of the crew. <laughs> With this being said though, time to disembark. So please, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and share it out because it really helps out YouTube's algorithm. And it costs nothing to yourselves to do that, bar a couple of minutes. Or, if you're becoming a part of the crew and wishing to stay on board, then make sure you ring that notification bell, hit that subscribe, so you don't miss out on the future missions. For those disembarking, please take care of yourselves and stay safe. And to all of you, I hope to see you again. Remember, believe in yourself. You are capable of so much. Ciao for now. Live long and prosper, my friends.